Hello and welcome back to the DRS development channel. This is episode two of our Phoenix build. We decided to name this build the Phoenix uh, engine because one, it was literally covered in ashes. Two, I like orange. And three, uh, it was unanimously decided after the disassembly that we would name it the Phoenix. Today, I'm going to take you through different parts. Parts have been disassembled, all of the uh, studs have been taken out, all of the remaining gaskets, etc., have been taken out. And just before we go to cleaning, I want to show you the various components and tell you what we're going to do with them. We'll start off first with the engine case, uh, which as you can see is extremely dirty. Just touching it makes your hand completely covered in ashes and oil. Um, the outside has been completely contaminated. Um, it's covered in ashes, so it will need a good wash. Uh, once that is done, we'll you'll take you to, through the processes uh, of flowing the engine cases, uh, putting in new oil plugs and various other small bits and pieces that we will do. But first, this needs to be cleaned and we'll take you through the rest of the process later. Next up are the heads. Um, also extremely dirty, don't have to say anything uh, or t mention that every time. As I told you before, we are going to try and use as many components uh, of the original engine to get to the 360 horsepower that we want to achieve. Um, everything that came out of the heads will not be reused. I'm talking about valve springs. The valves, of course, will be enlarged uh, and we will go to a different ignition system but the original casing of the heads will be reused. So this will get a good clean and then we will do some modifications and show you what we do to it to achieve uh, better flow and all of the other various uh, modifications that we're going to make to it. So next thing up is conrods and crankshaft. The crankshaft will get reused. We will bl blueprint it, check it for straightness, check all the, ba the bearings, main bearings, conrod bearings. Uh, if needed, we will grind them back to the first oversized bearing. But uh, from the quick look that we had, it, it looks completely fine. The conrods, however, uh, are in good condition, but uh, due to the nature of this build, we want to achieve 360 horsepower. Uh, we will probably go for something custom. Um, and we will not be reusing these, although they are in good condition. Next up, intake system. This is the standard plastic intake from a later model 964 engine. Uh, although in pretty good condition, it's not going to be reused because it's an old uh, system. It uses what we call a barn door or an old school muff system. Uh, it's too restricted, it's too old for our application. So to achieve our goal, uh, we are going to delete this and we are going to use the Island Work intake system. We've had good results with that in the, in the, in the past. Uh, we will show you in a later episode some of the engines that we've built that use this system. Uh, and for that reason, this has to go. One essential item camshafts on the, on the engine. I'll show you the houses as well. Again, extremely dirty, everything that's been touched, covered in ashes. Um, these will of course be cleaned and you will not recognize them afterwards. But an essential part, which has not been corroded in any way, camshafts. Um, these will be custom made for our application to try and get the maximum out of the engine. These are original, also not in bad condition, but for our application, we need something with a, a different cam profile. We will take you through that in a later episode, uh, but also usable, but we're not going to reuse them. Another crucial thing in any build, pistons and cylinders. Um, one of these we're not going to reuse. Cylinder barrels uh, we will reuse uh, if possible. We will have them measured, uh, honed, and then we will make some small modifications to it. Uh, but in essence, this will remain the same. Pistons, however, will be a custom design. Uh, normal ones are quite heavy and uh, newer aftermarket pistons are a little bit lighter, which we will also show you in a later episode. But these, reasonable, good condition, but won't be reused in the build. Essential in any engine build, the oil pump. 
This is a standard 964 oil pump, looks in quite good order. Usually we replace this just as a safeguard. It's in the middle of the engine, so uh, if something is wrong with it, you need to take the whole engine apart. Um, these can be replaced with a GT3 pump or uh, various other modifications. We have something quite special planned uh, for our engine, so maybe in good condition, but we will not be reusing this one. So second to last, uh, various engine components, chain uh, covers, chain guides, um, airflow deflectors for underneath the engine, some aluminum covers for on top of the engine, and various other bits and pieces. All very dirty, as you can see. All will come back and completely clean. Then there's lots of metal parts that have been corroded by the fire and the ashes that came with it. Um, the bolts have been rusted at an accelerated pace. Um, and all of the studs from the engine case, also very dirty. These will be gold plated. We will also show you the process. And when they come back, you won't recognize them anymore. So the last bits and pieces, uh, not an accurate representation, but uh, old fuel lines, old connectors. We will rebuild it with Teflon braided lines, good rich connectors, so it will, it will be completely new. None of the original will be reused, and uh, so this is old and will not be going on the new engine. This is the old distributor. It's an old fashioned system. There's plenty of YouTube videos where you can watch how it works. Um, this will not be replaced. We will be using the new uh, system from Island Works, also something we will come back on at a later time, uh, but also something that we will not be reusing on our hopefully 360 horsepower build. So now that you've seen how dirty an engine can get, especially our engine, it's time to show you how we get to this finish. For that, we need to go to Aquablast in Belgium, where they will make all of the parts that we've just shown you show quality new. So let's go. Hey, Riva. Hey, yeah. Got a full batch for you. Ready? First coffee? Yes, yeah, always good. good. Let's go. Hey Ruben. Hey Jan. Looks amazing. As always, Jan. Was it a lot of work? It was a lot of work. A little bit more. Aquablast uh, specialty. Yeah. We're specialized in uh, surface cleaning. Yes. Yeah, we've been uh, bringing our engines here for, I think, four years now. Yeah. Something um, like that. So tell us uh, a little bit about the process and tell us about what you do. This, this is done with our aqua blasting machine. Yeah. What does it use? It's water with an additive. Yes. Uh, the blasting process isn't that difficult. It's uh, the most difficult part is when you clean engines, mm -hmm. everything has to be perfect. Better than perfect. Uh, well, that's, we that's, always, that's we always say good isn't good enough. That's why we like coming here because we, we've, I think we brought about 40 engines now. Maybe give, more. Give or take, maybe more. Uh, everybody is always super excited about the finish of it and the most or the best thing about working with you guys is uh, it's not just the cleaning but everything we've never had yeah. to remove any residue we ch you check it uh, everything's always good of course with every engine build we need to check everything twice because that's what that what you had to do but uh, the result is always spotless yeah that's um, what we stand for yes aqua blasting isn't enough you have to take care of all the other parts in the process. So we, we clean all the, the oil leads, um, the venturis. Yes. Everything has to be perfect. So all of the blockages, do you take the plugs out? Yeah, we take all the plugs out. And uh, what else do you check for? So uh, we check if there are no cracks. When everything is, is as clean as this, mm -hmm. you can easily see if something's wrong. Yes. We check the venturis of the oil. The oil leads, uh, everything, everything. And all of the residue inside the engine, even gunk or then comes out? Yeah, you, you have to make sure everything is out. So how many uh, hours do you spend on, on achieving this finish? I haven't counted yet, but 
we spend more time inspecting the parts than cleaning the parts. Okay. So, beside Porsche engines, what else do you guys do? Oh, we do everything. Uh, the bolts, the nuts, we make them new, yes. powder coating, dry ice cleaning. We even do cars, but Actually. most of the time we do aqua blasting. For Porsche engines? Most of them are Porsche engines. So, uh, about the, the gold plating, how do you go about that? Uh, first we clean them, yes, and then we blast them automatically, yes, and then uh, they will be coated. Can we? Can you show us? Yeah, of course. So we're back at the Fast Aldi workshop uh, and we just picked up all of the bits and pieces that were cleaned at Aquablast. Uh, Marcel is working hard at one of our other projects which we will uh, show you some details on uh, later on. Uh, but first, uh, all of the non-essential parts that don't need any extra work, uh, I'm going to show to you. As you can see, camshaft housings, deflector plates, um, distributor cap housings, the end covers, everything is super clean. I'll sh also show you one of the uh, updates that we're going to do on making it a little bit lighter. This is an air conditioning delete bracket. Normally that would be a small extra piece on this uh, used for putting the air conditioning on as ours is going to be a performance engine and we want every available horsepower. Uh, we're not going to use it, so Porsche, Por Porsche parts uh, also was second hand, cleaned by Aquablast and it looks perfect now. So as you can see the chain cover housings have been cleaned. Uh, if you see in detail they have been very corroded. It's uh, due to the ashes and the salt. Um, the surfaces where they meet the engine are still in, uh, in good condition. So with a gasket and a little bit of uh, Phillips magic they will be fine. Um, but yeah you can see that they've suffered a little bit, but with a little bit of paint and a little bit of work, they will be fine. Uh, also, the valve covers, um, you can see in a detailed shot, maybe not on camera, but they've been eaten away by the salt. Um, the gasket surface, still good, because there was oil there. So we will be reusing these. These will be painted in a special color, which we have in mind, and uh, usable. So now you've seen how the engines get cleaned, how the various components get cleaned, what the finish is. Uh, next time we're going to MRV, going to show you all the updates and small bits and pieces that we do to check uh, and update the engines. We hope you enjoyed the process, the interviews with Ruben from Aquablast and uh, like, subscribe and see you next time. <laughs>